On the back side, it looks like we either have slant or three-step post wheel. And then our wheel against man can release inside or outside. And our running back is getting an overrun backer. And so he's going to push this and run the wheel on the inside, particularly in a one-on-one -on -one man situation. So Sam's going stick right now. And he likes it, so he throws it. The receiver's turning his head, and the ball is almost halfway there already. That's great trigger time. The other thing is, how do we, how do we uh, promote that? Well, we promote it by forcing our guys to throw to the same spot the stick's going to be in all the time. Anticipate the hitch, anticipate the stick, and get the ball out. The other thing we do is these quarterbacks warm up in the beginning of practice with four balls that are laceless footballs. So they're throwing laceless footballs and they get very, very used to it. And what I ask them to do is not to take the time to get our grip and spin the laces. We want to grip and rip and get hitches out now. We want to grip and rip and get swings and screens out now. We want to grip and rip and get all of these quick throws that we're determining we can throw quickly and beat the defender with the speed of the football. And so we're trying to cut down on the amount of time that it takes for us to actually launch it or release it by, be, by being more comfortable throwing a football without the laces. And in a lot of instances, all four of our guys will throw a lot of this quick stuff without ever any thought of spinning it and delaying it. Even though it's just a small fraction of time, sometimes that makes the difference between, as you all know, a completion and an incompletion. 